Hi, I'm Todd with Whole Latte Love. So Todd, what are we taking a look at today? Well, Mark, <laughs> today we're going to take a look at the X-Bar office line of espresso machines. They call it the office line, but we really mainly sell them for home users. So we've got four of them here. We've got four and of them that, here. That makes up the line. That makes up the line. <laughs> right. Yep. I'll kind of go over them real quick, show you what we got, and then we'll talk a little more in depth. Sure. But the object here is to compare them. Right. Here we have the office lever plus. This is a plumbable machine. Yeah, that's why okay. these lines are over here that come that's, with it. That's right. correct. Here, real yeah. quick. So you just hook this up there. It comes with an adapter, 3 8 or 5 6 or 3 8 flare. Mm -hmm. And then uh, for the drain line, you just uh, drill a hole in the bottom of the drain pan here. Mm -hmm. Water goes into there. And then you got a, we got a tube that fits on the bottom there. And so yeah. you, can, you can run that to your drain. That's the gray line back here that comes yeah. with that. So you can actually hook up to a water line and not hook up the drain line, but we do recommend always using a drain line. These are all heat exchange machines, by the way. Correct. You brew and steam at the same time. Yep. So the same as this machine, just it's not as tall. It Little doesn't short. have a plumb line. Yep. It works only off reservoir, which fits in top here. And all the reservoirs are the same like that. Yep. Know. Every one of the machines. Even the plumb machine has that. Correct. Yep. So we won't open them all up. Yep. This is the X-Bar Office Control, mm -hmm. and you can control the amount of coffee it brews with each one of these four buttons, and this is a manual button. You can start the brewing, stop the brewing with that one. Gotcha. All are programmable, very easy to do. This is the X-Bar Office Pulser. You turn the pump on and turn the pump off so, to start and stop the brewing process. So same, same look on these two, yep. except yep. for the, you know, programmable yeah, yeah, that's the only difference between them. So mm -hmm. all E61 groups, right? Correct. A little bit different in the groups. Yep. These are have a lever to control the brewing, and here's a three-way valve. Mm -hmm. Now, some of you might have heard about three-way solenoid valves. This is a manual three-way valve. This is a three-way solenoid valve, which means it's electrically actuated. Okay. But they do, they serve the same function. Same thing. Yep. Mm -hmm. And the x bar the E61s are a little special, right? Yep. Take a look. x bar has it made, so they have a groove cut into the top here. And that is for pre-infusion. So water will come out of this hole in the center, hit on that screen, and then it builds up there, and the water starts to slowly drip down onto the coffee, which wets it. A uh, little pre-brewing, and hopefully that will reduce any kind of channeling right. that you might get. Uh, the kind of some details now. Sure. Over here on these machines, the steam valves on these are the same thing you'd find on a commercial machine. They're a sprung valve, so when you tighten it down, it doesn't tighten the seal up against the valve seat. So it's a wear spring out. Yeah, they'll last longer. Mm -hmm. uh, these don't have that, but they're very good quality valves. Mm -hmm. And there's a little valve seat that's easy to change if you ever have to. Mm -hmm. uh, the little Teflon gasket on that. Now we said they're all the same inside. Mm -hmm. Very yep. similar. And yep. here's inside. Here's inside. We won't go great detail, but just Jakar controls. Mm -hmm. now here's your boiler, 1.7 liter. Mm -hmm. uh, on the lever machines, the whole body panel comes off with five screws. So you can, it's, you can get in here easily. It's what we like to call the user serviceability is very good. They're like cars. They're going to need maintenance yeah, at eventually. some point in their life. Correct. So easy to do. Yep. Uh, accessories. Yep. The machines come with a uh, portafilter. Now, like this one here, it's angled portafilter. Mm -hmm. And so it keeps your, uh, your filter basket relatively level. So when you're tamping, it's a little bit easier to get a nice level tamp. Mm -hmm. Again, that'll reduce channeling, any other brewing issues, keeps your consistency up. Double shot, single shot filter baskets, and a back flush disc. Back flush is cleaning the brew group out. And you have a nice plastic tamper. Okay, maybe not that high. But actually, it's pretty good because <laughs> some tampers are too small. It fits pretty good. Yep. But we always recommend getting a better tamper. Right. And they come with a water softener and mm -hmm. a coffee scoop. These are rechargeable. Okay. Um, now, who are these machines for? Yeah. That is a good question. Anybody that wants a really good espresso and be able to steam very well, make good cappuccinos and lattes, you don't have to spend a lot of money to get them. Um, so these, they're just, well, they're great for that. You know, uh, you these, these look, machines are a good value, really. Oh, yeah, very right? good value. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when you look at them, you may say, well, they're not all that refined, like maybe a high-end Profitech Pro 700 or a high-end ECM or Rocket. They have a little bit more of an industrial look, but that's, you know, you make your own opinions. Mm -hmm. Um, the housing on these lever machines is really durable. They also right. don't have the price tag of like the ECMs or the rockets, right? Correct. But now, take a look over the frame here. We'll just kind of yeah. want to see that. All one piece, very solid. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're very shippable also. Serviceable and shippable. Right. Um, take a look at the housing over here. Okay. Show you how thick this is here. 
See, that's our yeah. quarter. So this is thick. It's pretty much bulletproof. Yep, about as thick as we see in a machine, right? Yeah, well, it's the thickest one I know of. And we should probably try and shoot a bullet through sometime. We will do that. That would be funny. Get a video on that one. So we're going to pull a shot and steam yeah, some milk? sure. We'll do that. And while we're doing that, we'll talk a little bit about the machine also. Yep. Yep. Is your Chiato over here, your yeah, E37, right? Yeah, E37S. Yep. I'd say it's one of my favorite grinders. Uh, and again, nice and level. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not always the best tamper when it comes to level, but whatever. The shots come out pretty good. Little flush there? Yep. Now the seam wands on these machines, this one has a no burn steam wand. Okay, yep. so you can hold on to it. And it stays pretty cool. Oh, not gonna burn you. Now, the, over here on the pulsers and controls, they don't have the no burn seam on, but they have a little rubber grip here. So something to keep in mind. Another Correct. difference. Yep. Yep. Now the the axle bar machines, they also the brute you may have heard if you get on the internet at all, but the brute pressure builds up slower because of that pre infusion chamber. Right. And so just kind of show you how that works. Totally by design. Right. Yep. <laughs> And what's the steam tip like here? Okay, single hole steam tip. Now what's nice about these machines also is that it has a single hole designed to work properly with the size boiler and heating element in the machine so that your steam pressure through the whole frothing process is very, very consistent. Some machines have a lot of, uh, they have extra holes in them, a lot more holes and bigger holes. So you blow the steam pressure out and the pressure starts to die during the frothing process. That doesn't happen with the extra bars. Keeps a, keeps a nice constant pressure. Yeah. Makes it very easy to uh, froth with and get a nice cream milk, mm -hmm. especially for the beginner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wipe your wand. Or Always wipe your wand. <laughs> Just quick pour. Yep. Looks nice. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. Um, so, did we miss anything? I don't know. I, you know, one more time, let's talk about really, well, the gauges, the gauges. right? You mentioned you have a brew and steam pressure gauge on the lever machines. Uh, mm -hmm. You don't have that on the pulsers. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we pretty much covered everything. Oh, no, we didn't. Oh, yeah, that's yes. right. Yes. If you decide for some reason you want to use Lavazza Espresso Point capsules, again, mm -hmm. for consistency and ease, great for using in an office environment where you don't want to deal with a grinder. You can do that. You can use this. It's, this screws up into the brew group along with this. Put your Lavazza Espresso Point capsule in there, and it'll brew perfectly. And actually it makes a decent espresso, right? It does a good job. Yeah. You know, it's not going to be like a fresh ground coffee, of course, right, uh, right. dialed in just right. But for an office environment, that's pretty good. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. So one more time now, who did somebody looking for maybe some value yeah. in a machine? Who value? Or worried they just, about the super finish on the exterior, but yeah, yeah but, but doesn't want to pay, you know. Yeah, but it's still kind of but it's still it. nice looking. Yeah. You know, I mean it's 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 a great machine. So it's this is uh ones I would definitely highly recommend. Um I guess that's pretty much all we got on these. So I'm right. Todd with a whole lot to love. Uh thanks for watching. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelottelove.com. Oh.